there modern fans Brent Cook and today I am playing Gift Storm a deck I used to be super passionate about that I then fallen out of love with and the primary reason is that modern is a format based around removing creatures and specifically Ragavan which means that cards like Brawl and Goblin Electromancer tend not to live very long these days it's kind of a problem and on top of that there's been a bunch of pitch spells that have been introduced to the format that are pretty bad for Gift Storm. I'm talking about Force of Negation, Endurance, even Fury, because it allows them to remove your creatures at no negative tempo. So it's kind of gotten rough for Gift Storm over the last few years. And I played a similar list to this back in early October. And I asked, hey, does white fix Gift Storm? And the idea behind it was that Prismatic Ending in the Epic Storm and Legacy was quite the upgrade in the sideboard. And then we were running Orm's Chant in Legacy, and here we have Silence. So does that fix it? And I will actually link that in the card above. Well, you can't see that hand. Card above. So definitely go check that out. Um, but that was the first video. We went 3-2, and two and Silence was pretty good at protecting our creatures. It also stops Endurance and Force Indigation. So that's why we're running Silence over a card like Remand. Remand hasn't aged well in an era of pitch spells because you just return that card to your opponent's hand and then they recast it for free. The counter argument, counter argument to that is, well, why don't you just return your own Past and Flames? Well, what if your opponent has a brain and they put Past and Flames to the graveyard with Gifts and Given? So then you flash it back, they force a negation. What do you do that with that Remand now? It doesn't work. Remand is just a card that has not aged well since 2018. And people are so attached to the idea of remanding your own grape shot instead of thinking logically about how to improve the deck. So I am not tied to any specific card in this deck. I am just trying to make Gift Storm a little bit better. I still love the deck deep down. Like I own it entirely Japanese foil. I'm a big fan of what it's won me. Uh, I top. 16 to GP. I won a Star City Regionals with it. I have a lot of success with this deck. A few 5Ks. The deck was really good for a long time. And then just people are afraid of experimenting with different things. And I feel like it's sort of hurt the deck. So we're going to try out some different things today. Which was a pretty big upgrade though. Because you don't have to run stinky cards like Repeal or Main Deck Empty the Warrens anymore. Which just gives you a little bit of extra flexibility. And Wish does give you the main deck out, so to speak, of if you don't have Silence, to cast Wish before you cast Gifts and Given, so that way you can pack Negation, something like a Force of Negation or an Endurance. So I do enjoy that. Um, yeah, other than that, the shell of this deck is pretty similar. We have 4 Consider, that's an upgrade that this deck did get with Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. You know, as the Graveyard combo deck, Consider putting cards to our Graveyard is pretty good. I do run Fetch Lands in my list. I'll actually link another video in the card above. What well, wrong hand, once again, card above, where I explain why Fetch Lands are better than the non-Fetch mana base. But right now, specifically, there's a lot of Blood Moons in the metagame, and Fetch Lands just help you there. So... I do run fetch lands. It's just the proper thing. The math behind fetch lands says that it's correct. It does thin your deck well enough to matter, especially over the course of a longer game. Unlike the scries from Serum Visions, uh, you just have to trust math. Like if the math says it's correct, you got to go with it. So um, yeah. And then in the sideboard, we have fluster storms. This is primarily to stop Force of uh, Negation, but also it's pretty good at the stopping Cascade decks from just running all over you. The Cascade decks are rough matchups for this deck. Um, Echoing Truth is a generic, you know, removal spell. We do have Prismatic Ending for most things, but sometimes you just need something that's blue. This is the puzzle. In the last video, I ran three copies of Galvanic Relay. I don't know how I feel about it. So one of the big things that I found in Modern is that Galvanic Relay is less powerful because your mana isn't as good. Where in Legacy, you have a bunch of degenerate broken mana. In Modern, you're casting two mana rituals that make one mana, and then you're passing the turn, and you just end up not having enough mana on the following turn. So instead, I'm going to return to two copies of Pieces of the Puzzle here today and just leave one Relay in the board as a wish target for in case you need it. But... In general, I think Relay's uh, the card you leave in the board and Pieces of the Puzzle is the card that you sideboard in. 
This member's primarily for decks like Hammer Time, because you can play a Brawl Chief of Compliance or Goblin Electromancer on the second turn, your opponent can try to murder you with hammers, and then in response you dismember their creature for absolutely free, it just costs you four life. So that's the idea behind that. And then obviously we have our win conditions with Grape Shot, Empty the Warrens, and then a Storm Engine with Pass and Flames. That is the deck list. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to answer or feel free to put those in the comment section down below. I will try to answer everything I always do. So well, I leave a comment anyway. Why not? Support this YouTube channel. Get us into the algorithm. Have more people watch Gift Storm content. If you're watching this video, maybe other people would like it too. So if you're looking to support us in any other method, you know, as always, like, comment, subscribe, those things are great. But you can also become a member. And this month, when you become a member, you get access to all of our videos and deck lists early as a perk to say thank you for hitting my 6,000 subscriber goal for this year. So thank you to everyone that's subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And everyone that is a member this month gets a chance to win this, a Pioneer Challenger deck for Lotus Field combo. So if you like Gift Storm, you're probably a combo aficionado. Why wouldn't you want to get your chance at winning one of these? So for $5, you get a lot of benefits this month. But one final benefit this month is if you're interested in a Storm Combo mini token pack, we are offering 15% off our shop this month. So with code Stormy Holidays, once again, that is Stormy Holidays, you get 15% off the token pack. It's just great value. And uh, if you're interested in getting a token pack, here it is. For $13, you get 64 double-sided tokens 128 tokens total if you count both sides for $13 and you get you know relay indicator storm counters mana but also if you're someone that plays Ave in modern you get slime time tokens power toughness already built in no fumbling around with dice but maybe you don't play Ave. maybe you're more of a empty the warrens kind of person we have goblins and chatter storm tokens included with that so definitely go check that out we also have our shop where you can get other sweet store merchandise and card singles. But maybe you're not interested in this stuff, and that's absolutely fine. We do have the epicstorm.com slash donation decks where you can submit your deck to be featured here at this YouTube channel. That is my introduction. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't think I forgot anything, but if I did, feel free to let me know. We're just going to hop right into round number one. I will see you there. Welcome to match number one with Give Storm. We are on the play. Our opponent is revealing their modern companion, Kahira. That means that they're likely Azorius Control. We have to silence. I like this. We just need to hit land number two off the Serum Visions. I guess in theory it could be Elementals. Okay, let's play our Serum Visions looking for land two. And we hit. I actually like both of these. I'll keep them both. Okay. Planes. So this is probably elementals. I'm going to hold back the Brawl. I don't really want it getting hit by uh, Solitude, which is another pitch card that I forgot to mention in the intro that, that just happens to wreck this deck. So the pitch cards have just been very bad for this deck, which is why Silence is probably the upgrade we needed. That's interesting. Okay. Let's cast the opt and pick up the Manamorphose. And then let's go get... Maybe we should try to throw our opponent off a little bit here. Let's get Hollowed Fountain. We can always hide the fact that we're Gift Storm a little bit, right? Another Silence. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to pass here. We would need one more land to go Silence, Brawl, Morphos, Morphos, and have to hit a um, a Ritual in order to give Storm win. Blood Sun? That's spicy. Okay, so... I don't know why I shocked myself there. I didn't need to do that. Uh, Blood Sun's fine. Alright. And we'll draw now. It looks like some sort of Azorius Control deck. I can't but wonder if I'm supposed to try to win right now. Let's do it. Brawl. Ooh, that looked like an F6. Morphos. 
Plaid blue red. There's a ritual. Morphos. White blue. So if I play Electromancer, gifts would cost two and we could cast it floating a red. I think it's just worth it here. I play Electromancer. Gifts targeting the opponent floating a red. All right, ritual, ritual, uh, ritual. Sorry, the second click, I'm just making sure that it didn't count. I didn't want to misclick on something because it shifted after the first click. And our opponent conceded. All right, so they, I took too long. They got bored. But we won game number one. No silence needed there. All right, so let's bring in endings. They're just like a very versatile, great removal spell. You can board in two pieces of the puzzle. I don't know if we want these flusters. We probably do. We're looking at boarding in seven cards, which is quite a bit. Maybe we even want the Echoing Truth. I'm not sure. But I do think we probably want to leave one card in the board uh, for Wish. So I'm going to leave the Echoing Truth. So now we have to find seven cards to take out. I don't mind shaving one gifts when we're boarding in pieces of the puzzle. It also becomes a Wish target, which is quite nice. We can get rid of these ops. All right, so that leaves us at 64. I don't mind taking out the Goblin Electromancers. Uh, it's just, you don't need uh, seven creatures against this deck, I believe. And I also don't mind trying like the Grind Plant. So now we need one more card to go out. Um, tough call. So in my mind, I'm thinking right now it's probably Brawl 4, Hieratic Ritual, or Second Piff. I'm thinking it's Second Piff. It's just, they probably have a lot of Grave Hate, and this limits uh, how effective that is. Let's try this out. Alright, game number two against what I'm assuming is Azorius Control. here has been revealed once again surprise surprise and wow a hand of all rituals so i think i'm gonna mulligan this i just don't think it's that great mulligan okay i'm gonna keep this in bottom and ending let's see how this hand goes sacred foundry into pass okay i'm going to just fetch up the steam vents here i could get the white source but i don't want to tip off my hand serum visions and there's our white source uh, i'm gonna put that on the bottom and draw the brawl all right fire bluff canal draw i'm gonna play off this turn we saw blood summoning game number one so i don't really want to uh get got by that Lagstones, are they a wildfire deck? Blood Sun again. Okay, let's go fetch our white source. Uh, Blood Sun's now fine. All right, and I'm going to cast Consider on their end step here. So tap for a blue, cast Consider. We do not need that, so let's put it to our graveyard. Visions. Draw. Play Canal. And let's cast Serum Visions. Consider, you don't need these. Pass the turn again. Not really sure what our opponent's doing. I thought this might be like a cleansing wildfire deck with the flagstones, but maybe I'm wrong. They're a lotus field deck? I don't understand what's happening here. But also, I love lotus field. Um... Let's cast Consider. I want that one. So I think our best draw is like Mana Morphos now. Okay, draw. Another ending. I think I'm just going to pass here. Tapping for three red. Veil Cut Awakening. Sure. We're putting three on the bottom. Okay. 
I mean, I love Alicut Awakening. Super sweet card. Uh, I just don't know what our opponent's doing here. But Flagstones plus Lotus Field does make sense. Oh, you're casting boring cards like Teferi? Come on. So they'll get to untap their Lotus Field and uh, Hallowed Fountain here. So this Teferi's almost free. And while they're tapped down, let's cast Gifts and Given. Okay, so let's pick up Cast in Flames, Manamorphose, Desperate Ritual, Pyretic Ritual. I probably should have waited till their end step and waited for the Teferi trigger. So that's a little bit of a misplay on my part. Because now if they slam like Rest in Peace, I'm going to look like a big dummy. But too late. So we did a standard gifts pile here. And they gave me the pair of rituals. Okay. And now their lands will untap. Six cards in our opponent's hand. And another ritual. All right, let's start off on silence. Oh, I don't have to target with that. That's weird. I mean, I, I should know that. I've played silence for years. Uh, it's just I've been so used to casting Orm's Chant recently that it caught me a little bit off guard. Cryptic Commands. They have two mana open. I'm going to let that go. I play Brawl. I mean, I feel like I'm just uh, losing a little bit here if I don't go for it. But we just have to hope that everything resolves. And there's the Solitude. So, I can't stop that. That just happens. Okay. That's so three mana. Four mana. Six, seven. That's enough to flashback past in flames. And now we splice here. Okay. And this brings us up to seven. So, we can cast past in flames floating two. And then Pyretic Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, now it's Manamorphose for two blue, blue blue, um, that's actually a little bit awkward, because I, I could splice this Desperate Ritual onto these, but I'd lose all my blue mana, which is why it's awkward. So I think I'm supposed to cast the Serum Visions here. Uh, Wish is going to be good here. Let's bottom the ending. Keep Wish, because Wish can get Grape Shot. There's my blue source. Um, let's cast this. And now I can... So it's from 14. If I cast this from 15, 16, 17, 18. So once from short, if I splice. So instead, I'm just going to cast this the normal way. Let's see envisions. We can put these on the bottom. Desperate Ritual is from 17. Consider will be from 18. From 19, Wish from 20, Grape Shot. Cast Wish. And Grape Shot for exactly lethal. Cool! <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> uh, incoming Fluster Storm. I'm gonna get wrecked. Okay. Does it resolve? And we win the match. So, this is some weird Lotus Field Control deck. I'm sure it's probably like some streamer made it and I, I just don't follow closely enough. So feel free to tell me why I'm wrong or whatever or why I should know this like tier 7 control deck. But we won match number 1, which is great. Let's just keep on trying to play tight and uh, I'll see you in match number 2. Match number 2 when we're on the play. Keep. Yes. Turn one visions, turn two brawl, or I'm sorry, turn two goblin electromancer, turn three win. 
So this is a hand where we really get rewarded for facing something like Hammer Time or Amulet Titan that doesn't actually have removal. They're just linear combo decks. So that's sort of what we're uh, hoping here. Our opponent is taking taken a mulligan to five. I can't talk today. All right, they kept their five card hand. Let's start playing some Magic the Gathering. Our tap for blue, Serum Visions. Opt to land. Uh, I'm going to bottom the canal and keep the Misty. So like I mentioned, Blood Moon has been very popular in Modern over the last week or so. So I want the access to basic land. Okay, well, it looks like they're on Titan. Uh, so we're just going to get rewarded here. Play our Steam Vents. And uh, let's jam this big dumb goblin, Electromancer. All right, so we're passing the turn. And we should have a turn three. Uh, actually, we're one mana short of a turn three. We need another ritual or a mana morphos in order to make that happen. Because you need three mana floating with gifts and given for it to be a deterministic kill. So we do need one more. And they have the Gruel Turf, which allows them to untap, tap again. So now they have two mana into Grazer, which allows them to replay the Gruel Turf, tap for mana, and then play one of their three mana creatures, like, um, what's it called? Dryad of the Elysian Grove or Azusa. And there's Dryad. And now they can play another land. So if they want to play the Gruel Turf again, they can. Very good start for the opponent. So we want to draw a Ritual or a Manamorphose here. Ding dong. All right, so we're going to go fetch a basic island and end our opponent's whole career. All right, red mana. Ritual, ritual. Target them with gifts and given. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ritual. Manamorphose. Ritual. And this Fast and Flame. So the downside here is that in post board, our opponent will have access to Endurance, and we only have the one Pact of Negation in our sideboard for Wish that really stops it. Uh, we do have Silence, but we didn't draw it this game. But I guess that's our out to Endurance is that Silence. But Silence can also be used to stop your opponent from casting their Titan, which is kind of nice. All right, they gave us uh, the Passing Flames and Ritual. Let's cast this Consider. We do need Storm Count anyway. Uh, yes, I'll put the Goblin to the Graveyard. Grip Shot. Uh, so I can Grip Shot for six. Yeah, this works. So I'd have four mana floating. Okay. So I'll have one mana floating post past in Flames. Cast the Piff. Alright, so then... Ritual, 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 Ritual! Manamorphose, let's add blue, blue. Okay, and Storm 12. We do need a little bit more Storm here. Let's cast Gifts and Given again. Why not? I love casting spells. Manamorphose. Uh, Desperate Ritual. Let's not show them Wish. There's no reason to do that. And let's get another Piff. Make them click again. And for being a mold of five, this was a very good opening for our opponent. Ritual. Fast in Flames. Ritual. Ritual. Manamorphose. Let's add blue, blue. Draw. Another Gifts, but let's just end the game instead. All right. Game number one over Amulet Titan. Click, 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 click. Boom. All right, so we did get game number one, but like I mentioned, we have to fear endurance in post-board games. All right. So I do like ending as a way of hitting their turn one amulet. Uh, it doesn't really do a whole lot outside of that, but it seems worth it to me to just like try to slow them down just a hair. We can get rid of these ops and then... What else do we board out? I could try to do pieces over a gifts, technically, if I'm trying to beat the endurance. 
But then I would have to find two more slots. Um, I think I might just shave like down to six cantrips and hope to do my thing. Let's try this out. I know a bunch of you are probably screaming at your computer, but one of the things about this matchup is you don't have a whole lot of time to sculpt. That's not really what the matchup is about. Like, I'm not allowed to keep this hand, for example. Uh, even if I hit turn two creature, it's just way too slow, I think. They kept seven. Yeah, this hand's just too slow. So you could, like, turn one ending their amulet, assuming that they play amulet on one instead of something like Urza Saga. But then on turn two, you don't have... Uh, so if you have to cast ending in turn one, you don't have a creature. This hand's just too clunky. We have to ship it. We hit the ending again. It's like almost the same hand as our seven, but I don't know if we're allowed to go to five. I think we just have to. And once again, no creature. This time we can't even cast the ending. Go to four. Sure. Uh, let's bottom silence. Bottom a canal. Bottom vents. All right. Not ideal. Forest. Into their amulet. Sure. Come on, fetch land. Draw. Okay, we just have to uh, pass the turn here. So they have the turn one amulet. We had the ending, just couldn't cast it. For what it's worth, I'd rather have these five cards that we have currently than the five card, the six card, or the seven card hand. So if you're like, well, you mulligan into Oblivion and Lost, I don't think you're really understanding how this matchup plays out. Really, a non... Ooh, they have Relic. Okay, well, I, we do have the ending, but I can't cast it quite yet. Draw. Silence. Uh, let's just play our bear. Pass the turn. What do you have upon it? Are they just passing here? No, they passed without a land. Ah, uh, that stinks. We're just gonna have to waste a turn here. Get in with the electric. They can't flash an endurance and block, but uh, the second silence certainly hurt. We needed to draw something better right there. So I'm guessing that they probably have an Endurance in their hand. Grazer. And there's the Boros Garrison. So they probably had a land last turn. Or they drew it this turn and then decided that they could cast Titan. They picked up Forest. That's interesting. If they picked up the Boros Garrison, they wouldn't have had Green Green, I suppose. What are they trying to do here? Summoner's Pact. So they still have a land drop. Dryad. Okay. They can play Dryad. Now they have two land drops this turn. There's passing. Okay. Play Brawl. Our best draw, so they have to uh, pay for pack this turn. So if they tap out of Relic, we could theoretically win if we drew a Ritual. So they need an untapped land here. Uh, roll Turf, that's going to do it. They're going to be able to have Relic up. I was trying to think while they were doing that if a land would have worked on our turn. If it wasn't a ritual, but they can use the relic now, so that doesn't really matter. And they have six mana. Draw. Wish doesn't do anything. I guess I could wish kill the dryad. Wish. And then dismember. Oh, I cancel, cancel. I guess I already cast it. Um... 
Mm. Yeah, let's just kill the Dryad. Uh, it's not going to let me pay the one, because I have the uh, enablers. But for some reason, I was like, oh, I can pay the one and not pay as much life, but that's not how that works. Okay, so I have to pass the turn here. And then next turn, they will have uh, Primeval Titan. This game could have been a little bit more competitive had I drawn a white source earlier. It just didn't happen. Okay, green. Sure, I'll remove the dismember. That's um. Here's Titan. Okay. I think we're just dead here, but I'm gonna make them do it. They still have the land drop. All right, so they picked up the Boros Garrison. Now they can untap Garrison, use it to activate the Slayer Stronghold. Now the Primeval Titan becomes an eight. Then they move to attack step. All right. What did they get? The Castle and Valakut? Sure. I'm just going to take eight. So I think in order for us to win this, I have to have, I have to draw Manamorphose here. And then Manamorphose, Prismatic Ending, the Relic, and our opponent to not have Endurance. All right, that didn't happen. Okay, so we're going to go to game number three, and maybe I'll draw a little bit better. Okay. I can't but think that, like, maybe I should just, like, not try to play this game and I should just go for the the quick kill. All right, I'm going to submit this. On the plague and Samula Titan, game number 3. This hand's fine. I'm definitely going to keep this. We can use silence to stop endurance. We don't have the ending to hit a relic, but we don't even know how many relics are in their deck. I don't feel like playing to that is the right choice here. All right, so we're going to use our Scalding Tarn, go get Steam Vents, pay two life, tap it, and cast the Serum Visions. We drew a Consider, and now we're looking at Ending plus Fire Bluff. We do have to find a payoff, so I don't know if I'm supposed to keep the Ending. Probably am. And bottom the land. Okay. So we're passing the turn. Let's see what our opponent does here. If they don't have a one drop, we're going to play Brawl. If they play, you know, an Amulet or Formod's Crypt, we can just ending it. We have had double turn one. Okay. So their deck has a lot of Graveyard Hate in it. Um, but this represents another Amulet in two turns anyway, so I don't think we're supposed to play to that. Instead, I'm just going to play my uh, Brawl and pass the turn. Hopefully draw a Gifts Ungiven. Okay. So now they go up to two on their Saga. And next turn they'll get another Amulet. So they open up on a very strong hand here because they're threatening turn three lethal while having Hormod Script. The Dryad. Yep. So now they can play another... Um, what was it? Selesnia, whatever it's called? I don't know. And another saga. Sure. Draw. Island. Um. We have four cards in hand. We know one of them is the land. I'm going to ending the crypt. Ending is just so good. So they're probably going to sacrifice it. We'll lose those three. And then I'll cast Consider. Okay. Play the Consider. I don't need that. Put that to the graveyard. And I do technically have 
Manamorphose Silence available right now. The problem is I don't have any payoff, so if I take that line, I'm sort of getting punished. Okay. So something that might be nice here is if our opponent doesn't have Titan, but they have Pact Negation, and then I can kill them with the Silence. Or not kill them, but I could win the game with Silence. All right, so they got another amulet. Two mana, play the Sanctuary. I'm gonna not yield to these triggers because I'm allowed to cast the Silence at some point. Six mana. So they can play Titan here. I'm just really hoping that it's not Titan and that it's packed. Because I would win the game if it was packed. So, kind of taking a risk. It looks like it's just the Titan. Damn. Oh, it's this thing? Um, okay. So now they can put another land into play. So they get to put a bunch of lands into play, create a whole lot of untapped effects. There's the Sanctuary. And it looks like my... Oh wow, that was impressive. Uh, I'm going to die from Valakut here. Uh, I think I'm not... Were all those cards in our opponent's hand? Because their hand number hasn't changed here. So maybe, I don't know. Like, I'm a little confused why the cards in hand never change. From your hand, um, I mean, our Brawl's going to die now. So I'm just going to yield to these. I think I just lost this game. Okay. So I've lost this game, but I'm just like sitting here and I'm going to let them do their thing because I would like to understand it a little bit more. Because I'm still confused why they still have four cards in hand. Oh, because it draws a card and repeats the process. I see. I missed the draw card part previously. Okay, so that explains it. I just need to learn how to read. And I am super dead. Okay. That would make way more sense. I was like, why are, why isn't the number of cards in their hand changing? Like, it just didn't add up. All right, so I'm going to concede here. We did not win match number two, unfortunately. It happens. Let's just, you know, see what we can do today. Keep expectations reasonable. One and one, three rounds left to go. Round three, and we are on the play. Okay, uh, this seems fine. We do have to hit land number two here, but I don't know. It does the thing. Our point is revealed to Luris. Okay. I'll load Fountain, shock myself, and cast this Serum Vision. Land two's good. Neither of these are a creature, so we're going to bottom those and uh, move on with our day. What are you playing? Team Vents. With Luris? I don't know what's going on. It could be like Grixis Control or something. We're just going to play our land and pass. Um, yeah, both of these are instants. I was making sure that they weren't we didn't have a sorcery card in our hand. So they might be on like Grixis control. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's looking very Grixis y. Okay, let's fetch and go to 15 because we're going to pick up a steam vents here. And let's cast this consider. I think I'd like an island. We can do like the end step gifts and given thing. Cast this opt. Yeah, why not? Let's keep it. Draw. 
Okay, pass the turn. Turn activates their bloodstained mire. Okay, just the steam vents, no other play here. All right, drown catacombs and a serum visions. I, I don't really know what this is at the moment. Go on the bottom with the visions. Steam vents. Okay, let's just take our turn. All right, we're gonna play the island pass on their end step attempt to give some given and then if they counter it what we can do is untap ritual ritual wish into relay or empty i think we need one more mana for the empty line to work blue to delta okay channeler channeler I wonder what they're doing all right, let's cast the gifts and given. Target them. All right, so it resolved. Part of me wants to get like silence bear bear ritual. Like I don't think I actually want the standard pile here. Let's get the desperate ritual because we might be able to splice that. And then bear bear. Okay, so two creatures, silence and desperate ritual. The opponent has five cards in hand. They gave me silence ritual. Okay, I'm down to party. Grape shot. We might be able to double grape shot win this turn now. Silence. And it resolves. Let's party. All right. So red mana, let's cast this pyrotic ritual. Tap this for red. Let's splice. And now we have six red mana. Seven red mana. Mana morphos. Let's add blue, blue. I can play a land, but it comes in and play tapped. So I could cast a wish into grape shot, grape shot. So that would be from six, seven, eight. That's 15. That's one mana short. Or one storm short. Right? No, they're at 17. So it'd be from six, seven, two damage short. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. I could just empty. I feel like that's probably the line here. And then next turn to come back with uh, Vision's Grape Shot to deal the rest of the damage. All right, so 14. They'll probably fetch here going to 16. So then I would need to come up with like four Storm next turn. All right, opponent at 16. And if they make those uh, channelers delirious, they have to attack so they can't stay back as blockers. Get out of here, Parallels Desktop. I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Upkeep on Holy Heat. You got it. I can just hit that F6 key. You milled over an island. And a channeler. So they're now delirious. We have 13. So I would need three storm next turn to finish them off. Because they can't keep back these channelers as blockers now. Okay. So we're going to fall to eight life. They might be able to race us here. Okay, draw. Land was not what we needed. Cast the Serum Visions. Ritual. Oh, I would have loved to have drawn that Morphos. Okay, let's attack. Okay. So now if they play a removal spell, it doesn't really make a difference. 
They're at three. Let's see if they try to counter this ritual. All right, play Dream Shop. You just have to hope that it's good enough. They have four cards in hand. The counter spell would put them to one, and then they could theoretically try to kill me on uh, their turn. And there's a counter spell. That's a bummer. I needed to draw not island for turn. So we are dead to lightning bolt. We're also dead to dash dragavan. I think I was supposed to take my shot at winning. I'm not supposed to just like pass the turn being a coward. It's like you're dead to bolt anyway, so take your shot at potentially winning. All right, so if you have it, you have an opponent. Okay, so they're casting Terminate in their upkeep. And this is a good move because it allows them to surveil. Oh, they put a card on top. I'm dead. Uh, because it allows them to surveil before they draw. And by doing that, they get extra an extra chance or extra looks at winning the game. All right, so I go to two. They kept the card on top, so it's just Lightning Bolt, and I'm dead here. Yep. Okay, so that was a really close game. I don't have any regrets about this. Uh, it seemed fine. It just is what it is. Leaving a Goblin back wouldn't have worked anyway. I just needed to draw slightly better right there. In theory, you could argue that I wasn't supposed to empty, that I was supposed to relay for like six. I don't know if that's correct or not. Let's bring in the flusters. They have a lot of interaction, so it'll give us a little bit more to fight back with. I don't know how good ending is here, so maybe we only want two. And then these pieces. Take out the ops. So now you would need three more slots. I just wonder if I like I cut the goblins and like try to be a little bit more controlling. I don't know. Or like leave one so that way I can do another gifts pile. Let's try this out. All right, on the play. I don't think that this is a keep. It's just too clunky better i think we can bottom the wish here i used to keep hands like this all the time in 2018 but the big difference back then was that the threats weren't as good so like your opponent wasn't playing ragavan or dragon rage channeler on turn one the format was just slower so hands like this were more acceptable where i'm keeping this but i am terrified it's not going to be fast enough okay Arn, and they're passing. Okay, let's just go get our white source. Hollowed Fountain. I would not like to pay to life. Draw. We can just pass here. They're activating Scalding Tarn for Steam Vents. Sulfur Falls into what? Delver. Okay, so they're like a Grixis Delver deck. Little guy's kind of annoying here. Alright, we did board in two ending. Yes, consider. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with Morphos. Oops. Yeah, for white, consider again. Yeah, I don't need that. Okay, draw. Other gifts. We're just going to play pieces. What will it reveal? Silent Scrape Shot, apparently. That's the turn. All right, does Delver flip? Press of iteration. 
And they cast it. So for falls. All right, now we take three against Delver. We're just in a tough spot here because of the Soul Guide Lantern. Another silence. I think I just have to pass. It's worth noting that silence would not be any better than remand here. Another expressive iteration. Young Pyromancer. This is a wild doc. This looks like almost like Legacy Delver from 2018. I mean, obviously, Express Federation didn't exist then, but like, Grixis Delver was big back then. It was a Delver Pyromancer doc. Okay, draw. I just can't do anything. So I think what I'm supposed to do is try to buy some time, cast Silence, have them counter it, and then Grape Shot their Delver. Silence is on the stack. The resolve, let's kill the Delver. Okay, same targets. And pass the turn. We know that they have a Pyromancer, so it's not going to buy a whole lot of time, but we need some. We're at 10 life already. We're not even close to winning. All right, now they have their Black Source. Pass the turn. Once again, expressive iteration. Delver is back. Included Delta. So they have Delver and then Pyromancer in hand. Draw. We hit the ending. Let's uh, try to remove that soul guide. We will lose our main deck grape shot here, which means that we will have to win with the sideboard copy of grape shot via wish. Okay. Our graveyard has been exiled. Opponent still has four cards in hand, one of which is young pyromancer. Consider. They did not put it to the graveyard, so they wanted it. And now Delver reveals the Lightning Bolt. Okay. They chose to draw a bolt. So we're going to go to seven here. If they play Pyromancer, they're just threatening lethal. Main phase bolt me. Okay. A little bit odd. Oh, is the Pyromancer? Oh, they don't have Pyromancer in hand. That's why. I've been playing this whole time like they have Pyromancer. You just have Triple Bolt. <laughs> Another land. Okay, so they have two cards in hand. Even if we fluster a third burn spell here, I can't win. Uh, I would have to draw Mana Morphos and our opponent's last card not to do anything. Looks like they have a third Lightning Bolt here. Ah, Snapcaster, that's fine. All right, so theoretically, I stand a shot at winning. Our opponent would... Um, we would have to draw Mana Morphos in order to make this happen, but... You know, anything's possible. We also could have done Bolt, Bolt, Snap, Bolt on my upkeep. Okay, so our Fluster is going to counter this Lightning Bolt, and then we need a Miracle to happen. Okay, we're at uh, one life draw. The last gifts and given in our deck was not going to be the card that did it. Uh, so we are dead here, unfortunately, and we are now one and two. Even though these games seemed, um, well, this game in particular seemed like we were pretty far out of it, we almost won game number one and we almost won game number two. Uh, so a Metamorphos there would have gotten us pretty close. 
an untapped lane that wasn't a fetch could have gotten us close uh, because you, we could gifts, they give us Morphos, and then the Morphos can theoretically hit a ritual. So we weren't completely out of it, but instead we're one and two, two rounds left to go. Match four, and we're on the play. Opponent's likely revealing a companion here. Yorion. All right. Uh, once again, we have this clunky hand. I don't think we're allowed to keep this. We got to ship that. Much better. Uh, we'll keep this and bottom these steam vents. Let's party. Turn one flooded strand pass. And step, get our white source. We just like modern death and taxes. Okay, so they have three of an inspector. Draw. Let's play our Gabo. Gabo doesn't tap like that. And cast it. And pass the turn. All right, so it is modern death and taxes. Made to sacrifice the clue? Hell yeah. Ah, oh, solitude. Okay, we do have this backup brawl. That's fine. Like I mentioned previously, solitude and all those pitch spells, uh, not so good for the gift storm deck. Draw. Alright, so we're going to play out brawl again. We just need the mana efficiency of already having it in play. And then cast our envisions. I don't think these cards do what we need them to do. We're just going to bottom. We need a ritual so that way we can have a win next turn. A tonic Edge. Uh, we're cold to that card. Yep. Yeah. We don't... So Wish doesn't beat this, so we're just dead. Um, which is fine. Like, honestly, the percentage of the metagame that is modern, modern death and tax is just like, it's not worth playing a bad card in your main deck to make up for that. So I think that's just something you accept and you move on. Okay. And even though they have solitude, I don't think you're supposed to keep in silence. So we'll get rid of those. For two cards over, let's just board out the ops. And uh, let's party. One nice thing about Prismatic Ending is it aligns very well against Thalia effects. So even though Thalia increases a spell's converted mana cost, or well, they cost one more, I should say. Uh, that What I said previously wasn't exactly true. So it taxes the spell's converted mana cost. Prismatic Ending only sees the colors being played. So theoretically, you're doing one white plus another, and that equals two, and it removes the Thalia. Game number two. Shocking, Yorion was revealed again. We'll try this out. Okay. Spire Bluff, Serum Visions. We don't really need the White Source right now. It's bottom that. We can keep the Morphos. Basic Planes, pass. We're just going to play our Brawl here. With Solitude being an instant, there's no reason to really sit on the Brawl in your hand. Okay, so it looks like it lived. Let's see what our opponent's turn two has in store for us. Solitude, sure. You got it. They removed a Path to Exile to cast it. I think that we consider that to be a win. All right, uh, let's cast Consider. I would like to keep that. And let's play a Goblin. Four cards in our opponent's hand. Uh, I have the last basic in my hand. Oh no, I have four. Woot. Good deal. For some reason, I thought I only had three. All right, so they are now up 
down to three cards in hand. Archon of Emiria, that's fine. Draw. On their end step, we can cast gifts for a number of answers. I'm not actually concerned with that. I guess one downside is I don't have a white source for Prismatic Ending yet. Okay. And they're just going to pass. I'm going to cast Gifts and Given targeting them. Dismember. Echoing Truth. Grab an Ending. And... Am I supposed to just get a White Land? Probably not. Maybe another Brawl? We don't have access to a White Source, but we can make do. Echoing Truth Brawl. Okay. So if I cast Echoing Truth, bounce the Archon, play Brawl, Morphos, Morphos, that only makes three mana. So I'd have to hit an untap land or a ritual. I think we just have to take our window here. For all. If they have a piece of removal, we're just dead. Morphos. Add red red. Alright, we have to hit off this Morphos. Blue red. Hmm. I guess in theory I could still hit a ritual off the consider. Okay, good. Ritual. Fast and Flames. <laughs> uh, that stinks. I have the Grape Shop, but I don't have uh, another mana. Damn, we're a mana short. They wanted it more. They got it. We're now one and three. One round left to go. The fifth and final round, and we've opened up a mulligan. We're going to ship it back and take six. I think that we can afford to keep this. We just have to hit land number two off one of these cantrips. Or a draw step. Herborg. Okay, so probably losing a goblin here. Or the cantrips, I'm not sure. Depends on what their hand is. I guess that's the only options. This is uh, Inquisition, not uh, Thoughtseize. My bad. I guess that was a pretty dumb statement in hindsight. Silence. Not very good against the Urborg deck. Alright, let's grab Steam Vents and uh, guess this up. Why not? I will keep the Visions. Might seem a little bit weird considering I just need a land. Uh, we're facing Eldrazi. With main deck relics. Wow, this league has been a nightmare. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Alright, let's uh play the goblin. Yikes. Another Eldrazi Temple. Sure. I've never seen Eldrazi with Inquisition though. White Herder, okay. This deck's kind of wild. Draw. Let's cast the Visions. Hopefully I had a land and then I can play the Brawl. Did not hit a land. I think we keep the Morphos though. Pass the turn. So my plan currently is to play Brawl next turn. Turn after that, we go Ritual, Manamorphose, Pass and Flames. They respond by cracking Relic, and we let that happen. And, but before Pass and Flames resolves, we cast Gifts and Given. Or they can just blow the Relic immediately. That was strange. Uh, do they have another Relic? All right, I'm going to block a Scion token. I'm not sure what their plan is here. 
I'll take six damage. They drew a card off Mind Stone. Okay. What are they doing? Another Blight Herder. So they gave us a window to win here. We should probably try to uh, capitalize. Okay. Ritual. Manamorphose. Blue blue. Let's play Brawl. And now I can cast Gifts, target them. Get Ritual, Manamorphose, Heretic Ritual, Fire Buff Canal. We have a land here and we don't actually need a Pass in Flames, so that's why I'm choosing to do it this way. Oh, apparently I did not get Spire Bluff. I got a Scalding Turn. Whoops. It's fine. Okay, let's uh, cast this Morphos. Alright, so this costs two, so I can cast the Past in Flames, floating one. And our opponent concedes. Alright, we've gotten game number one over Black Eldrazi. I mean, I don't know if our opponent used that relic correctly, but I'll take a free game win. Put sounds to the board. Let's grab the endings. Probably want the second truth. Likely want the pieces. And let's take out one gifts and one opt. All right, game two, we're on the draw. I'm just going to keep this. Why not? We have draw steps. I'll hit. I'm not worried about it. Turn one relic, you got it. Okay. So part of the reason I was willing to keep this hand, and it seems silly, but against the discard decks, like you don't really want to mulligan aggressively, and they did have Inquisition in game one. Here they have Duress. Um, so it's kind of wild. Any second relic. Sure. All right. So what I would like to find is Wish, so that way I can... Play Wish into an empty. All right, Goblin Electromancer is probably coming down next turn. Cabal Coffers. Just sacrificing that relic. Love it. I'm an aggro deck. I'm going to attack next turn. Ah, oh, push. How dare you? How dare you? Um. Let's play the Brawl. They know about the Brawl. They don't know about the Goblin. Visions. I think I'm going to keep this. If they tap out again, I can try to win. Drowsy Temple. Okay. Ah, I've been strangled. Okay. Should I play the goblin or should I just pass? I think I should just pass. I would hate to get hit by Wasteland Strangler again. One has three cards. I just need them to tap out for that big dumb Odrazi. So that way I can end their whole career. Take three from the Strangler. I'm at 17 and they passed. Let's cast the Consider. Put that to the graveyard. Pieces. Okay. Pieces makes me want to play the Goblin, because next turn I could try to Pieces into a win. Uh, Defile. So we are three bears down? Yeah, three. This probably takes our Pieces of the Puzzle. I th think Wish is still pretty close to being amazing. Um, we're just short on Wish into empty mana. I'm just going to pass. All right, going to 11. The ball coffer is not looking so hot here. Draw. Well, now a Wish would do it, so I'm just going to pass. I don't want to burn these mana morphos quite yet. Move the Goblin. 
For other reason that I don't want to burn the Mana Morphos, and that gets them Urborg. So they can activate Cabal Coffers now. They're tapping out? For what? Six mana. So this thing makes them Scions, so they'll still have Relic up. Okay. And I go to eight, so I think now is go time. We need to draw a Wish. Or that. Um, let's start on Morphos. We need to add red, white. Red, white. Pieces is not a card we need right now, unfortunately. So I need this other Morphos to hit, I think. Okay. Virtual. I'm going to cast this Morphos because if I hit a land or another ritual, I can splice. Blue, red. Ah, oh, damn. I think we just fizzled. Um. Yeah. Damn it. All right. So I'm, I'm probably just dead here. I'm going to play pieces. I could hit Grape Shot and try to buy some time. And I'm dead. All right, let's go to game three. And I'm just going to resubmit our deck. Game three on the play against this weird Aldrazi deck. I'm going to try this. We have the ending for the Relic. Opponent has a very quick mulligan to five. Okay. I'm going to play Steam Vents tapped. I don't want to tip them off with the white source with Hollowed Fountain. Herborg. Inquisition. So now they know that we have the ending for the Relic. And there it goes. Draw. Hollowed Fountain pass. Play number two into map so this can get Cabal Coffers. They have three cards. I think I'm just going to play the Goblin. If it dies, it dies. It's fine. That's the turn. All right, so they're activating map here. Zhukabog. That's interesting. I don't think that was the right pick, but okay. Like, those two cards didn't matter. Let's get in there. And I'm going to thin. Oh no, untap. There we go. I want to thin and then play Brawl. On their end step, I can cast Gifts and Given. All right, so they already had Coffers. Now they have a whole bunch of mana. Maybe they just played the Bog so that way they could do this. Yeah. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense now. Less of a strange play. Uh, but I'm going to respond by casting this Gifts and Given. They could get me if they have a Relic in their hand, but it's just sort of a risk I need to take. Cast in Flames and Morphos. And then I can hit that F6 key and uh, go to my turn. They gave me Piff Ritual. Okay, so they can kill one of our creatures here. All right, two mana floating, three cards in hand, and they passed. Draw. Heretic Ritual. So we have six mana. I play Wish. I would go down to four mana, which leaves one. So I'm going to play Wish here. Fast in Flames. So basically, by playing Wish first, I could get essentially two uses off of Wish. Let's play the Manamorphose. Storm's five. 
Okay, like that. Let's add blue red. Okay, that was great. Comes eight. Uh, we can cast wish again. Cast grape shot into grape shot. So double grape shot. No need for a remand here. Okay, so we're gonna finish this league two and three. Not the best record. Uh, we faced a lot of strange decks in general. Um, sometimes that happens with modern. It's a very wide open format, so it happens. Like we faced decks with main deck relic and stuff like that. It's just kind of wild. Um, let's close out of this. Go back and uh, look at the deck list a little bit. Would I change anything? Probably not uh gift storm is what it is at this point there's not a whole lot you can do to optimize it but i do think the white splash is an improvement silence didn't really get to shine this league because we faced a lot of oddities but i do think it's an improvement over remand you don't need to agree with me that's fine uh but i'm just trying to potentially improve a deck that's sort of dead right now that's all i have to say hopefully you found some enjoyment out of this or maybe something that inspired you feel free to let me know in the comments if not that's fine too. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.